Stay on top of your kitchen's workflow by ensuring a seamless journey from order placement to fulfillment. Sapod's Kitchen Display System, KDS, simplifies kitchen communications and processes to improve efficiency, food quality, and speed of service. In this video, we'll set up Sapod KDS 2.0 and its features in just a few simple steps. First, let's activate Sapod KDS 2.0. Let's visit Setup. Go to My Account. Under your subscription plan, scroll down to Sapod KDS 2.0 and indicate how many stations you wish to use. You can set up as many stations as you need. We'll go for one station for now. Click checkout and proceed with payment. Great. Let's go to setting up KDS order types. To enable Sawpod KDS 2.0 order types, visit setup, Sawpod add-ons, then Sawpod KDS. Enable the order types you wish to use with Sawpod KDS 2.0. The following order types are available. Call center, walk-in orders, dine-in orders, online orders, and takeaway. Let's enable the order types that our kitchen will prepare. For this exercise, let's enable all of them. Then click Save. All right, let's proceed to setting up KDS station. Visit Setup. Location Setup. Select the appropriate location. Click on Printer and Peripheral Settings, then KDS Stations. On the Preparation Screen tab, click on Plus Add to add a station. Enter station name. Let's call it Kitchen Station. Next, select Categories. You can choose your menu categories for your station. For now, Let's check all categories so all menu item preparations will go through this station. Set threshold in minutes. This will help KitchenAid evaluate your station efficiency. Let's set to 15 minutes and select the appropriate KDS interface. Let's pick touch. The touch interface allows chefs to bump prepared orders one item at a time. This is ideal for dine-in settings, highlighting the food items in the expedite screen for wait staff to come and collect the food. The bump interface lets chefs bump off prepared food items using an external numeric pad. This interface is suitable for QSRs, where the entire order is served or bumped in one go. Finally, let's click Submit. If you want to add more stations to your restaurant, make sure to procure more stations in your subscription plan first. Then, just repeat the steps until you have created all the stations your restaurant requires. Sawpod KDS 2.0 allows you to create multiple category-wise stations to maximize your kitchen workflow. You may have an unlimited number of kitchen prep stations as per the needs of your operations. Note that a KDS station in Sawpod can only be associated with one device. This means that each station will require its own monitor. The good news is Sawpod KDS 2.0 is device agnostic so you can use it on any OS and device with a minimum resolution of 1024 by 768, as well as on both touch and bump interfaces. Congratulations, you have now enabled Sawpod KDS 2.0 for your restaurant in just three easy steps. First, activating Sawpod KDS 2.0. Second, setting up KDS 2.0 order types. Third, setting up KDS station. Here's a bonus. You can view a specific station's performance from the Station Efficiency widget on the KitchenAid. The Station Efficiency widget offers you a live view of your kitchen station's production. The percentage figure compares the station's average preparation time to its predefined service level agreement. To view Station Efficiency, visit Delivery Manager, KDS. Select the appropriate location. Under the Preparation tab, select the kitchen station that you want to view. Click on KitchenAid. You can see your station efficiency widget along with average preparation time, hourly orders, and more. Want to learn more? Click on the link below to book a demo.